making quick work of all this uh, this bigger cherry log from last year and this should be pretty close to seasoned I would think uh, once I get it split up for a month or two here it should be dried out well enough but the thing that makes it all possible or makes it easy is these forks and if you remember these forks from last year I broke these <laughs> pulling those big pine trees out of the the woods I tried to grab two or three trees at once or four trees I can't remember and the uh, what happened was the the fork slid off the bucket so it was only hanging on by just a little bit right here and then all the weight and leverage on the end of that fork it spread the the fork apart so you can see kind of how they're clamped on here it just has that and they just slid on there before just friction held in place and so my friend who gave me these forks uh, came out and helped me fix them the other day and it was quite a process we had to uh, we had to, to put these in a vise and torch this up heat this up real real good that part right there you can see the marks from the, the torch right there and once we got it hot enough we just you know clamped it together used a C clamp or whatever and just kind of pinched it together until it was back to, to close to, to straight anyway. This was the old holes that were there before and all we, all we did before on, on his tractor was he just you know tightened down this bolt right here and it just friction fit you know pinched it right onto the uh, bucket and held it in place and you could slide them you know different uh, places on the bucket and then just pinch that down. But what we had to do to make sure that what happened to me didn't happen again was we actually drilled a hole I uh, actually used a torch, a cutting torch, and he blew a hole right through this uh, end of the fork on both sides, big enough for one of these bolts. And then he did the same thing on the bottom, blew a hole through the bottom of the fork there, and then welded a nut right in place. Then, of course, we also had to blow a hole right in the bucket itself. So we've got two, two little holes, one here and one there, which doesn't affect the bucket at all. This is a super thick steel uh, bucket it's not going to hurt it to have those little holes in it i mean it's got you know it, this is just a beefy bucket so i'm not worried about that so now i can just come and throw these on here run my bolt in i just use my little impact driver you could use a socket wrench or whatever i have uh, handy and uh, tighten this one down this just keeps it from swiveling this way and so just just you know friction fits right onto the bucket and then that one goes all the way through to that nut on the bottom so now these are bolted right to the bucket and man is this thing strong 
I mean, you're not, you're not going to bend these things. I, I just lifted up and these big cherry logs are, that last one I got was huge. It had to be, I don't know, it's gotta be close to 800, maybe a thousand pounds. And these things are just, just monsters. So the forks themselves aren't solid. It's like a, I don't know what you call this. I think you can buy this steel just like this. I'm not sure where he got this steel from, but basically it's just two pieces of that he just took a, a long piece of this cut a section off of it to weld to the top and then an extra little chunk of steel here and then for the fork part he just cut this off on an angle looks like he just cut it right here and then folded the top down and then welded it so and this is perfect the, the angle on this is perfect this is just a couple inch piece right here um, for that angle so it doesn't need to be a real long slope this will you know get right underneath a pallet or a log or whatever and now with these things on the bucket, I mean, this thing is, this changes everything I do around here. I can use these forks to just do so much work. Having these forks has just completely revolutionized uh, how I work around here. And I've, I've missed them so much since uh, whenever I broke them, it was like February or something. Uh, and I've just, uh, I've really missed them around here. I use them to move anything. I mean, I can lift this gator up off the ground. I can lift up the tractor. I can move anything around with these forks. Um, anything I want to put on a pallet, I can put a bunch of barrels of water on a pallet and take it back and water things. I can, the, the IBC totes come with a pallet built into the bottom. I can fork that and, and carry that around or lift it up and put it in my truck. I can take things in and out, move implements around. I mean, just everything. Um, and they're just simple pieces of iron. Well, Darren, if you're watching, thank you again for, <laughs> for these forks. They have made, they, they've made such a difference around here and I just love having them. So. These are gonna be great in the woods as well because I can go right back in the woods and lift the log up just like I did here. I can cut a tree down, lift it up, and then I can just, while it's in the air, I can cut it. Uh, and that makes a huge difference. It's so much easier to use the chainsaw at waist level and keep your saw out of the dirt and everything if you can just lift the logs up and cut them right on here. So super useful resource for, uh, for wood cutting. And it did make easy work of bringing the logs over and cutting them up, but uh, I still have to split them. At least I have another machine to do that. like it's gonna rain so I guess I'll pack it in for today got a good amount of wood I think stacked up here so far and this cherry is pretty good it looks like it's pretty well seasoned some of the stuff in the center of those those big rounds might not be 100% dry yet but uh, I think it will give it a few more months in here I'll split um, before I'll be burning it anyway my plan is to just start from this end and work my way back so It'll be a couple months before I get to this, the rest of the stuff that'll be stacked in here. So more to clean up, <laughs> just keep moving the mess over and over further and further. 
Well, hope you guys enjoyed a quick update on uh, wood collecting and those forks, man. What a what an awesome tool uh, resource those things are for for us here. I uh, you're gonna see a lot of those. That gator and the forks. So those two two things I use all the time around here. So as always, guys, questions or comments, throw them down below. Don't forget to hit thumbs up on each and every SSL Family Dad video, of course. Don't forget to do that. And if you want to subscribe, uh, I'd love to have you guys tag along. Lots more wood collecting, wood burning, farming, sustainable living, and all that kind of stuff coming up. So subscribe, hit the bell, and you'll get notified when we post new content. And don't forget, if you're in Michigan or close by, the Great Lakes Emergency Preparedness Conference is coming up. Uh, September 21st, 22nd, somewhere around there. I'll put the link in the description to that. Uh, you can pre-order tickets on their website and I am gonna be doing a little speaking thing about uh, sustainable living and kind of sustainable preparedness and those kinds of things. More of a long-term deal. So love to have you guys come up there and I'd love to meet some of you guys. So uh, uh, hopefully we'll see you there. As always guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.